We're here in the Town and Country Gallery. And this is here uh, partly as an acknowledgement of the fact that we're a rural museum bang in the heart of an urban centre. So Reading is a big agricultural town uh, at the heart of a big farming community and region. But nevertheless, it's quite a significant urban centre. So there's a need for us as a museum to start to understand that relationship between the countryside and the town. The term countryside emerges in the 1850s at almost exactly the same point at which there are, there are more people recorded in the census as living in towns and cities than there are in rural spaces. So it's a term that comes into being to represent that, that divide, that divide between rural and urban. Nevertheless, there are lots of aspects of our lives that are much the same in many respects in the town and the countryside. In some senses, our relationship with animals has changed significantly over the years, and a couple of good examples in this gallery represent that change. So we have a section on horsepower that acknowledges that at one point in the relatively recent past, around about the turn of the 19th to the 20th century, there were considerably more horses living and working in towns and in urban centres than there were in the countryside. And nevertheless, we now think about the horse as being ostensibly related to rural life and not town life. Another good solid example that connects to the history of the university is the history of dairying. So dairying used to be a practice that existed as close to the consumer as possible, and it was only with the arrival of the railways in the mid-19th century that it was possible to then produce milk out in the countryside, a perishable, uh, a perishable produce, and get it quickly into the consumers in urban centres. So until that point, there were many urban dairies and dairies closely associated with towns and with cities. So again, that shift in thinking where the animals associated with a particular form of agricultural practice or rural life are suddenly ones that are embedded solely in the countryside and not so much in towns and urban centres. And at the far end of this gallery, it takes you on a, a journey that's bringing us right up to date into the relationship that we have with the town and the countryside today. In recent decades, the museum's begun to collect more and more material that talks increasingly about the representation of rural life, both by urban people about the countryside, as well as material that represents urban, uh, rural life for urban people, as well as rural people. So there's material in this gallery and in the galleries beyond that begins to speak to that relationship that we have that's about our cultural history, about the ways in which we think and represent the countryside in the ways that we do.